a tour of my sewing room and we're going to announce the winner of the giveaway. Um, as you guys may know, I have posted a giveaway last week um, and I just want to announce that giveaway. And I had a request to do a tour of my studio or my little sewing room, which is actually my laundry room. So here we go. When we get back, I'll be behind the camera, directing the camera, trying to st keep it steady. So if it's not that steady, sorry guys. I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Hello guys and welcome back. Um, this is my, let me show you the broad picture of it. Sewing so room slash laundry area. I'm going to just show you a quick uh, means of this area. It's nothing fancy to look at. Guys, this is a true utility type room. Um, it is basically meant for laundry. It is probably the last place in the house where I will probably do any redecorations. But it's a place I love to be. Okay. And let's get started with this table. So this table actually is an old computer table. Um, I went to auction, found some beautiful, um, I mean... I mean, I had office furniture, but this was a deal you could not, um, well, a deal that I could not um, let go. And so I won this, uh, I won a lot full of office furniture, which had beautiful solid wood desks. And so the desks that I have downstairs or the furniture that I was using, I had to disperse them in different areas of the house because I felt like they were still too good to be placed on the side of the road, especially if they were functional. All right, so this desk div divides both the space up in this in this small room to a laundry side to a sewing side. Okay, and on this desk I have what I call my trash receptacle, my um. That's my catch-all basket. Basically, when something falls on the floor or I, or I just feel like picking it up, then I just throw it all into that little tray, uh, into that pink basket, and I just take the pink basket around the room and put everything back where it belongs. Okay, this is my cutting board with my rulers. And then over here is my yucky iron and my little cloths that I use for, the, uh, for, the iron, for ironing. Okay, let's come around here. Okay, so um, I had to basically, uh, there's three pieces of furniture that came out of my office that came straight, directly up here into my sewing area. And this desk was the second um, piece of furniture that came out of there. And it was a computer desk and you're going to see that it has a, basically a keyboard tray. And I love using this keyboard tray because I use it as a table when I need to pin something where I need a straight surface. I basically just pin it off. I just do everything on this desk without having to get up and turn around and go to the table. Okay. Um, basically, what I keep on this desk is um, my measuring tape, which I hot glued down to the desk. Um, basically any book I'm working out of goes right here on this book stand or plate stand or, or it's, it's some type of stand right there. Um, this is my calendar, which I need to work more out of. Uh, the serger stays on the desk and the sewing machine and my drawers. Guys, I'm opening these drawers up. Not quite sure what I put in these. This is a catch-all drawer. Basically, measuring tapes, rulers, curve uh, things to help me make curves. This is my um, fusible interfacing. I like to keep all that in this drawer. And this is another catch-all drawer with laces and bias bindings that I make and cart cardboard and sometimes oversized uh, patterns that I had to print out from PDFs. All right. And then you come up from the desk area and you can see basically um, pegboard number one and on pegboard number one is right here is the UFOs which is my unfinished projects um, or, um, basically ribbons that I've just bought that can't fit on my spool or didn't go in the overstock bins 
just yet. I keep my tape, my chalks. Um, again, these are cutters from the um, from my uh, cameo. Is it no silhouette? My silhouette, yeah, cameo silhouette. It's for my cutter. Um, I love to use this to help clean out my sewing machines, especially when the uh, strings and dust get all built up. Um, that is truly godsend right there. Um, my glues and my dyes go into the next one. These are my hot glue guns, my scissors. Basically, I just try to organize everything on the basis of what do I really need close to me and what can go further away from me that I wouldn't need as much but still need to be out on the pegboard. So my strings, decorative items, ribbons, those are all on this uh, first pegboard. On my second pegboard, now this is the most important pegboard because this is the thing that I need to readily grab for. And so you see my scissors, my screwdrivers. Um, I'm letting you know guys, no, I cannot deal, do without a toolkit. Um, there's a little trays here. You know, and basically I only had this pegboard since uh, January because I got it for my birthday. My husband helped build it for my birthday. Um, but there's like lighters right here because you always need a good lighter. These are hemming tape in this one right here. Um, up above here is um, uh, uh, elastic pins, hot glues over here. Right there is needles and the other tray right here is all those extra sewing parts that you don't know quite what to do with. And at one point in time, you will need it. And the jars are my buttons and what I call my uh, bling, my bling bling to bling out a box or whatever have you not, crafting items. Above that are my favorite sewing books, which are my only sewing books. I only have like one, two, I have five sewing books right now. And I use all of them. My favorite, of course, is Tilly and the Buttons. My next one is So Many Dresses. Guys always brag about those books, so yes. Okay. And that is what make up my pegboard. And the pegboard was one of the easiest things to do. Um, I really like, I really do find um, the pegboard, um, you know, basically it's, it's, it helps you keep or stay organized and things are not jammed up in drawers where you can't find stuff or you, you tend to overbuy. Now, this is my catch-all shelf, okay? It's not beautiful. It's functional. Um, up here, I have my cutter supplies, my um, vinyls, uh, my wall vinyls to the uh, heat press the heat press sheets that I need. Um, that just, and that's my cutter right there. Um, this is my polyfill. One of these days, I'm going to make... I already made pillows, but I want to make stuffed animals for my little girl. And it's part of that project of one of these days I will do this, one of these days I will do that. Alright, so before I started, um, actually, um, this is my, I cut into fabric. Now this is the leftover. But before I even started making clothes, I made blankets. And... I, I really do like making ragtime blankets and I believe in the last video when my little girl ran a romper and she was posing behind the wet, white backdrop, she was sitting on a blanket. Well, that's one of the blankets I made. And so I keep scraps for my blankets. And if you look right here, you will see there's a bag full of, I believe this is 9x9 nine nine, and it's already cut. And that's what I do. I just cut it all into 9x9 nine nine when I have a chance. And the rest of it is, some of this stuff is knit, but these are already projects that I have already worked on and I don't have a complete yard of fabric left over. There's too much fabric to throw away, but not enough fabric where I can make a full completed outfit. So this is where I go to when I need a scrap of something, I want to test something. So yeah, and as you can see, my little bin is about to pop. I mean, it is full. So I'm going to have to go through there again and then see what I really want to keep and what needs to go. 
The second bend over here is my overstock bins. These are my ribbons, my zippers, and they're all separated into different bags with the colors. And so I can know exactly what's in those. And I think there's some interfacing in there too, which I'm probably going to move over to the desk drawer. Um, these are birthday supplies. So when I need a bag or something or to decorate a bag or to give a gift, I got all the materials in that bin for that. Um, these are my, some of my knitting stuff, candle making stuff. Guys, when I told you that I was one of those people who just jump into every hobby, yes, that's me. Alright, so this is my heat press machine. Um, and these are my yarns for knitting and crocheting. So, and as you can see, here's a project that probably needs to be done. <laughs> Alright. So, that's for that side. Now, here is my fabrics. <laughs> and this is how I store my fabrics. I used to store them with the cardboards. And, but unfortunately, what I found out was the cardboard was taking up a lot of space. So, I basically, what I did was I took all the cardboards from um, underneath there. And I just folded them into little flat panels. And I fit, and I was able to fit more fabrics underneath there. This is why my husband basically told me that I needed to do the husband challenge. <laughs> so, I am trying at this point to slow down on buying fabrics. Though, in my defense, I do buy most of my fabrics on sale. Okay. And here goes some of my other fabrics over here. Alright, so here is where I store my patterns. And in my patterns, I am awful. Okay, guys, so it, I'm not that bad, though. Okay? Um, once I realized that you can buy patterns for 99 cents, and if you go to the Goodwill, you can buy patterns for 25 cents, I pretty much start scouring different bins excuse me, and picking up all the t different types of patterns I thought that I would like to have. And basically, I'm working my way through some of these projects or going through various projects. I'm at the point now where I don't really even have to go to the store to even start a project. I have most of my um, equipment and I'm able to um, basically... Um, I'm able to basically work on um, most projects without um, right here at home. My latest project that I just finished is this um, little outfit for my little girl right here. I'm going to be doing a review on it. It's one of Simplicity makes. So um, basically, without further ado, this is my sewing area. I enjoy it. Thank you for touring it with me. And without further ado, we're now going to go move on to who is the winner of the um, giveaway. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Thank you for taking a um, tour of my sewing room with me. It is now time to announce the winner of the giveaway. And I have my little assistant here, Missy Ann. She's going to help me pick the winner today. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, put your hand in the basket. Okay, ah, put, give me one, give me one. Okay, she gave me one. There you go. Put the other one back in the basket. There we go. All right. And the winner is Debbie Bowden. And I'm um, sorry if I'm spelling that wrong, um, pronouncing that wrong. It's B O U L D I N. All right. Thank you are the winner. Thank you very much. Again, I'll leave you a message. Uh, with my contact information and just please send, uh, let me know where to send it to also guys thank you for watching and if you like these videos please subscribe say please subscribe and bye bye <laughs> see you next time guys bye